when you ordered something online and then um, you get to choose the shades and then you were, you know, you were getting excited as the days are coming and then until your shipment is, you know, coming at your door and then this disappointment is what you're facing right now, which is, well, I am supposed to be happy because of this Huda Beauty Fall Filter Foundation. The misconception of the vanilla shade that I thought will be my skin match. It's not totally not my shade. But since it's already here and I'm also planning to go back to Sephora and um, have them replace this. Walang makakaharang sa akin sa plano kong mag film ngayon. So, anyway, what I'm trying to say is that I'm going to, to prove or test this product right now even if it's not my skin tone. What do I have to prove is, you know, you know what I mean? How effective this foundation is. If this is, um, something that you should also be looking forward to buy or something that you should pass let me help you with your decision even if it's not my skin tone yeah that's the reason why we have bronzer so you know you could tone down the lightness of the shade that you are not supposed to use so let's go ahead and do this first we're going to use the smashbox primer what we are going to do is to set this first is how you deal with disappointments like this. Maybe this disappointment will turn into a success. Why not? So first impression, they were expecting it to be like a glass container, but it's not. It's a plastic. I think um, the exterior of this bottle is nice. It's presentable. It's... I'm not disappointed at all. Sabi nga ni Kathleen Lights, um, it's okay because you can travel along with it. I mean, if this is a glass, if I could, I could imagine if this is a glass container, it's gonna be hard to to bring this with you while traveling. You know, I was like, okay, I tried already the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, and I liked it so much. I already consumed this, so it's already almost done, and um. Yeah, social naman talaga yung kot. May muta ba ako? Compared to this one, I, I, I see that, you know, I have no problems at all. This is the pump, which is nice, cuz. Oops, tinaman naman na. Ah. Isang pump lang, marami na kaagad na lumabas. So I'm using this um, tapered kabuki foundation brush by Sigma. <laughs> <laughs> natin to mga bes. What I could smell is um, the fragrance that I used to use during college. One of the Avon fragrances. And like it's a something like a sweet rose. Or something like that. Oy, okay rin to, ah. At least, pati ko rin tong gamitin sa Halloween. Ito liko ba to? Isa rin tong malaking kalokohan eh. It's really getting ridiculous using just the brush. It has to be something that is moist to, you know, help you build the foundation, right? Do you agree? I'll be back. All right, so I already have successfully blended my foundation using this star. What do you call it? Sponge? There's a specific name, eh? but anyway, uh, this is their sponge, my favorite. My favorite because it's eh, more for me compared to Beauty Blender. And napansin nyo, I already have my eyebrows set because I don't wanna spoil this video into something something else. Para mabilisan lang. And then I used this NYX HD Concealer in shade number CW4. Let's go ahead and bronze my face. I'm using this Wet n Wild Contour brush and I'm using the Laguna shade from NARS so, shala. shala shala nakuha ko to ng 50 off sa Ulta ayan 
By the way, yung brows ko is Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Brow Wiz, my favorite. Basta bronzer. Yeah, tira lang tira. <laughs> Yeah, the camera couldn't lie to you guys because I you could see that it's not really my complexion but um, since I have adjusted to it I just want to you know test this foundation for myself you know to at least uh, maybe think about it if it's not really for me then I could choose something else so what I'm gonna do right now is to you know have this feel test okay so i have to be honest i'm not happy with the texture because it's like after i put this foundation on my face and um letting it set for a while i still feel that it's a bit tacky tacky sabi malagkit medyo malagkit pa siya after long minutes but now it's already set and it's not tacky anymore well huda katan Huda Katan is the successful beauty most worthy of admiration. So that's what Google said. That's what Google said. So Huda is considered to be the one of the most foremost beauty experts in the Middle East. And she has this Kardashian vibe in her face. And she's so pretty. No wonder she's from the Middle East where, you know, Middle Eastern girls are pretty, right? You could agree. They're so pretty. Like, you could imagine Mama Mary, tapos, ang ganda ganda niya, di ba? So, lalang wala akong masabi. <laughs> this Huda Beauty Foundation is available in Sephora exclusively, not yet with Ulta. That's what I know. Um, and they have a lot of, um, they have a wide variety of colors. But let me count one, two, three, four, five. So they have 30 shades. But if you could see here in the app by Sephora, there are some shades that are not available at this time because maybe it's gone that fast. Yung shade na napili ko is yan, vanilla shade 120B. Description niya is fair skin tones with beige undertone. So parang ngayon ini-imagine ko, medyo kapal pala ng mukha ko no, iniisip ko fair skin tone ako which is sa totoo lang. Marami naman nagsasabi na morena ako. Tumatagal ng 1 year yung foundation sa akin. So yung isang bottle like in Too Faced, 1 year na yun sa akin. So kailangan ko na siyang palitan kasi nagamit ko na siya and uh, halos pa ubos na. And sa Too Faced kasi meron silang vanilla shade. Yung vanilla shade nila is almost close up complexion ko. Like this one, it's vanilla. And it's and it's thirty nine dollars. My experience with the Born This Way foundation is sobrang ganda, so I don't want to buy something na you know lower quality or it's something na magiging disappointment ko after ng pagtagusto ko sa Born This Way foundation. So I was you know really being careful about choosing my foundation and that's why when I found out that Huda Beauty will be launching a foundation I was so excited to you know try this personally so it's since it's the right time for me to purchase one why not diba? so anyway um, again it's $40 and if you want to order this from us sugar and banana kike shop please go to the link down below 
I'm not a makeup artist, na talagang makeup artist. I'm just a self self taught makeup enthusiast. <laughs> Mahilig lang ako sa makeup pero wala akong pambili. So Ayan oh, look. Lumalabas siya. Nagiging cakey, naging dry. So as you could see, um it's obvious that there are some marks on this area that highlighted the cakiness of my face. Also, it emphasized how dry it is. And yeah, I I won't I won't really go out with this kind of foundation at all. It's making my skin feel dry because it's not my shade. But on this area, it's okay. On this side, it's not. Of course, hindi naman na hide yung pimple mark ko na kakapisa ako palang kagabi. So, anyways, I do hope that I I I I helped you in some ways, like trying to you know um, find out some more true things, true true observations about this foundation. This is my first ever Huda Beauty product that I purchased because I've been dying to get their eyeshadow since from the rose gold palette that you know, lang, it's so expensive and I'm not that I, I don't like I'm not that I'm, 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 I'm. so I, anyway I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video please leave your comments down below if you have any more suggestions I would appreciate it Maybe I'm doing a giveaway again. So, yeah. Alright, thanks again for watching. Bye-bye. So, as you can see, I have 23 minutes now when I work out. And I will also let you see. I will also let you see what is the result after this test. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so as to the wear test, I just have it because it's 4% the battery life of the camera. But anyway, um, this is the result, the test of um, you know um, this Huda Beauty Foundation Faux Filter. And I put the makeup on at 4 and it's already 6 o'clock or 6.10 exactly in uh, Chicago. So let me just take a look at my makeup. Wow. Okay, so as you can see in my forehead, it all concentrated. It went crazy up there, but the rest is okay. Just because of this, I haven't, um, I did not set this foundation. I only put the bronzer and after that, wala na akong nilagay na iba. So as you can see, that was concentrated on my forehead but the rest is still setting pretty well as you could take a look at uh add it closer i am not sure about this let me see it's still okay so nga, again uh i'm still going to try other shades that will be fitting my skin tone but as to the wear test it's very good i would recommend using this to you guys so if you have any question please feel free to let me know just put your comments down below or send me a direct message or comment on my instagram all right see you guys Bye bye. <laughs>